Dominus Choir Pro. Is this the best choir library in the world? Well, I will play three live examples, first using legato, then marcato, then staccato, and then I will dive in and show you my personal favorite things about Dominus Choir Pro. So let's dive in right now. So for the first example, I have Dominus Choir Pro in legato, and I also have this lush strings ensemble in the background. So let's take a listen. Three, two, one. For this second example, I have Dominus Choir Pro in the Mercato patch. I also added lush basses here and ensemble brass with short articulation. So let's take a listen in three, two, one. And for this final third example, I've used Dominus Choir Pro with this staccato patch, and I also added some short notes on cellos, pizzicato violins, and basses. So let's play this in three, two, one. <laughs> So now I'm going to give you a list of my personal favorite things about Dominus Choir Pro. So the first one is it has such a beautiful and expressive tone, especially with the legato patch, of course. So if you listen to this, for example... And you can also hear that as I hold the chord uh, here in the interface before the final S here in the ending, it actually has a loop on this final vowel. And still the transition sounds great, even though I held it out. Uh, and it has also, now the second thing, a very good dynamic range from P to F. So if we play this, for example, in the female part here, You can change the articulation here. MP going into MF and to F. And the third thing is that it is an all in one library, meaning it has this legato patch uh, and it also has marcato and staccato patches. If you check here in the folder of the contact library. You can see legato, marcato and staccato. So uh, that is that. The next thing is the interface. It is great and fast working, meaning I think it's beautifully designed and uh, it also has these three tabs, the engine for the actual sound and tone, the mix where the mic positions are, a balance between male and female choir, and a convolution reverb and this word editor or phrase builder if you want to call it that so very easy to get around with very easy to work with and that takes us to the next of my favorite things this amazing phrase builder engine because i i used a lot of choirs uh software choirs and even if the phrases are okay if it's slow and tedious to work with, you get frustrated and you end up not really using it. This is super quick and easy. Just click the plus sign to add another one here. You can assign the key switch here by clicking and choosing, let's say, this one here, G0. And then you can simply click here. It goes into the word editor automatically. You can start building syllables like this. You even <coughs> get to choose the note value for each uh, syllable. 
to quarter note here um and so on or yeah basically you just do it like so we can even go in here and change this one afterwards to set half okay so it was half note sorry uh to quarter note there eighth note there and so on and now we have this <laughs> Compared to, let's say, put this in whole notes, this will sound strange, but... Okay, so that clicking noise was not the library, it was my computer striving a bit there, but anyway, um, the phrase engine itself is one of the best ones, if not, no, it's the best phrase builder I've ever used in a... A choir library. The next one is the quick presets for phrases. Um, so, for example, instead of building these your own, you have a, a preset engine. So, let's say we create a new one here. You can go here, go to presets, and then you have a whole list here. Even more if you cannot see this little scrolling wheel here. Lots and lots of prepared phrases. So, let's do this one. Or another one. And since uh, you can quickly make this, and you can also use shorter ones if you want, you can go into this and delete syllables like so. One thing I haven't found a way to do is switch out this one. Um, because you can switch out the note values, but I haven't found a way to switch out in the middle, so you have to go back. So that is a minor drawback so far. But uh, a very minor thing overall, since this is by far the best phrase builder I've used. So quick and easy to work with. Next thing is the very smooth syllable changes, which you can actually hear yourself by, if I play uh, dominus here, so, like so. Super smooth flow, it sounds so realistic even if you change the note values, which means they somehow have to script this as a loop, and that can be re pretty hard to do realistically, so... Put this on half note two, or uh, whole note, I mean. Still sounds so beautiful, so lyrical and realistic. Um, another thing that is really cool is when you work with choir libraries, what is essential is if you're using phrases like this, that the female choir and male choir are actually sing the same thing. Otherwise, it just ends up a mushy, muddy mess. So since both of these are integrated into each other, whatever phrases you play here, are synced with the male choir and the female choir. So that is a really cool feature. And since you can actually play uh, with a mix, let's see, over here, choir balance, or if you want to, you could separate these two. Now you see the females. I cannot play the males. If I add those, you see even it starts to load the samples. So you are actually perching or the, only the males. But I like to use the entire plugin for both, simply because it makes it so easy to work synchronated between uh, uh, these different choirs with the phrase builder. And then you can dial in, so only the male here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's play in the middle here so we get both. But that is only the males if I go here. And you can mix and match. However you want. Um, and another cool feature I loved was the release legato timing here. So you can increase it. To whatever you want. And this is also a cool thing. The how you play it. So you can put it on overlap and... It actually pushes the ranges into the middle. So if I play here now, you can 
have the chords really chord voicing is really tight here and it spaces them out, spaces them out to the male and female choir in the background i prefer to work with real notes so i actually know what they sing personally okay. And there's also a spaced version which pushes them out uh, to the left and right so you get... It's still the same range they sing, it's simply how you play in the notes or record them uh, when you compose your music. So that is all my favorite things about Dominus Choir Pro. All in all, overall, I have to say, this is my new favorite choir library. So a final constructive feedback I would like to give is with the marcato and staccato if we go into that you can see that you can change because obviously with legato um, the dynamics are from the mod wheel with the marcato and staccato patches you can switch between dynamics mode from velocity or mod wheel I would have preferred to have like a similar thing like uh, the switch with the choir balance basically how much will mod wheel affect the dynamics and how much will the velocity so you can still ride with the mod wheel but getting the main accents with the velocity so uh, if that is possible in an update i would love that still overall this is my new favorite uh, choir library of all the ones i have so i highly recommend you check it out i will include a link in the description Right now, you can get free sound packs and amazing bonuses if you click the link in the description below. For example, intense energy risers, deep and powerful sub drops, and my complete MIDI master collection. Click the link and get them all for free right now.